Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 21st of June. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which uh, is in, within that rising trend channel from the end of December, we managed to break that uh, red May resistance line, 82.30, but have uh, done it in a rather limp fashion, but at least we're above it. And uh, initial target here, obviously, the 8300 area, which was initial June resistance, and then that spike that we had uh, earlier this month, 83.71. On the downside now, not expecting anything lower than 8100, even if there's a bear trap below the uh, May-June support area in the meantime. Moving along to the DAX, and uh, here it's been a story of trying to recover, but uh, we're still in this consolidation under the 50-day line. It's rising at the moment, which is a positive, but uh, still underneath that. We need an end-of-day close back above that to give us a retest of uh, 18,800, etc., and the record highs of last month. On the downside, not expecting more lower than 17,800, that uh, initial May support area. The uh, Dow is next, and uh, here the picture is uh, that of uh, trying to uh, get back its mojo. Uh, we've done it in terms of uh, being above the 50-day line for two sessions in a row, which is uh, always good, 38,700, and that gives us a natural focus on the uh, May resistance and the record high there, 40,000, hopefully over the course of the next two to three weeks. Not expecting or hoping that uh, the uh, market will remain above the floor of that rising trend channel from last summer. The uh, nominal level there, 38,500. Moving on to Bitcoin, and uh, this has been a struggle over recent uh, weeks, and it continues to be a struggle in the sense that we've broken below the floor of that rising trend channel from back in November. That The level there that we didn't want to break was 65,000, and that means that we are vulnerable to move down to the 200-day moving average area, 57,000, and that's also a March support line projection. The uh, negative side would be cancelled by an end-of-day close back above the 50-day line, 66,500, then taking us up to 71,500 or 600, in fact, and that March resistance line. RSI at 35, so that still suggests there's uh, another five RSI points of downside at least to get us down into the oversold area. Gold is next, and uh, here the picture uh, better and brighter maybe than we were expecting. We've broken that line of resistance there from May. That was around 23.60. We've broken above the 50-day uh, moving average as well. And while we're above that combination, looking for a, re a third retest of the 24.50 area. The overall picture here is that we're in a rising trend channel from December and looking for 2,600 perhaps as soon as the end of next month, which would be quite a coup. On the downside, not expecting anything worse than 2280, the initial May resistance. Moving on to the stocks, and uh, happy that uh, Avacta played the game in terms of uh, the revival that we were noting just a couple of days ago. Uh, obviously, a new uh, biopharma big beast doing the trick. Uh, our initial target here was the 50 day line at 44 pence. I think the shares previously were around 41 when I was talking about them before. And uh, that means we have the luxury of trying to uh, draw the upside here, which could be the top of that broadening triangle there from the end of April, as high as 53 pence, hopefully over the next couple of weeks or so. But the key here is remaining above that 50-day line at 44 pence and waiting for that to start rising. If that can start rising, then that would be um, an extra boost for the shares. We were expecting a turnaround on the basis that we broke out of that falling wedge and we've had an uptrend line in the RSI window for many months in fact since back in march on to a stock which i hardly ever look at and i don't think anybody else that does either e cora and uh, here you can see that uh, we bounced off the floor of this rising trend channel base or potential rising trend channel base floor there 74 pence top of the channel there up to 91 pence which we're hoping for by the end of next month or even sooner the rsi is pushed above neutral 50 which is good and uh, recent neckline resistance at 77 pence needs to be held ideally if we can hold that on a weekly close basis, then we'd be more confident of a move to 91 pence over the next few weeks. On to uh, a stock which uh, was one of the uh, highlights of uh, the turn of the month, in fact, last month, uh, Graft Polymer. Here looks as though we're near to the end of the pullback. Obviously, uh, we went up to as high as uh, 1.35 pence and we're back uh, well down on that now. I want to see an end of day close back above the initial June support there, which was around 0.48. And uh, that could then give us a move up back towards the 200-day line, 0.89, as uh, another test of that uh, particular technical feature. 
Next up is uh, Gulf Keystone, which I used to look at a lot a few years back, or many years back now. But uh, here you can see that uh, the shares have finally hit uh, an initial target here, which was pound fifty, the top of that uh, trend channel there from back in June last year. Next level on an end of day close through 152, probably to be safe, would be up to as high as £1.75 by the end of next month. But uh, the ideal thing here is we stay on the right side of the 145 level, the uh, late May peak. Helium 1 is next, and uh, here I don't know whether it's a, a misprint or whatever it is, but uh, we've had uh, a bounce off the uh, support line there again that one there from back in january which seems to be guiding the situation at the moment uh, if that is the right price action we've got a very strong hammer candle there and we're looking for the shares to at least retest the peak uh, the post placing peak at um, at 0 0.835 and actually fill the gap and head up to that uh, red february resistance line as high as a penny so that would be the best case scenario uh, for the shares Ideally, we stay on the right side of 0.65, so that's the recent sort of opening and closing levels for the stock. Toro is next, and uh, here the picture is uh, uh, a bounce off the well, a bounce off the 50-day line, which is rising. But also, we're in the last week we had a golden cross here, so we're looking for further progress to the top of the range at least 0.16 um, over the next well, over the next session or two. If you're a fan of the shares and looking for uh, a bit more on the upside, it would be up to point. 22, which is the upper parallel of that rising trend channel from the beginning of last year. Stock rising on no news, which is normally an exciting thing to happen, is Kendrick. And uh, here, just uh, we just um, peaked shy of our best case scenario target there at 0.96. Hopefully, we'll get that over the next uh, couple of days. And the upside of value while we hold above our previous target at 0.73. Moving along to Metal NRG, which uh, has uh, really done us proud in terms of the uh, rally. We had our, one of our favorite signals there, the unfilled gap to the upside through resistance, breaking that uh, April peak there, 0 0.097. And uh, initial target there was 0 0.12. Then we had up to 0 0.21. And then the final one, for the, at least for the near term, 0 0.27, hopefully by the end of this month. And the upside certainly valuable. We're above 0.22. Uh, another stock making a rare appearance is uh, National World, and uh, here looks as though we've got a uh, a rising trend channel which has been in place uh, since uh, well, basically the latter part of last year. If I can get the uh, charting view up, there it is uh, from May, and uh, top of the channel there heading for 23p, and we're looking for that while we remain above the 200-day moving average at 15. Ideally, today there's an end of day close above uh, that late May peak at 16 and a quarter. So above 16 and a quarter, looking for 23 pence there. Uh, NHS news for uh, Ondine, and uh, that's helped the cause in terms of a gap to the upside, breaking out of that wedge, uh, the floor, well, the top of that wedge of 7.8 pence, and above that we're looking for up to 11 and a half pence by the end of next month. It's a bear trap from below the old October support there at 7.3 pence with a rising 50-day line as well so that should also help the cause that's it for me today more updates over the weekend